students welcome back coming to the next topic in the subject computer organization and architecture is types of instructions so let us see what are the different types of instructions that are used in a computer so uh, most computer instructions can be classified into mainly three categories let me write those point most computer instructions can be classified into three categories so mainly it is classified into three categories so one is data transfer instruction data transfer instruction second one is data manipulation instruction data manipulation instruction whereas third one is programmed control instruction program control instruction so any computer uh, most computer instruction are all classified into these three categories so it requires some data transfer instruction to transfer the data from one device to another device and data manipulation instructions to perform the operations by the alu whereas a program control instruction is going to be control the system so with the help of these three categories most computer system can perform the operations so let us see what is this data transfer instruction okay so a data transfer instruction is nothing but it is an instruction cause of data from data transfer instruction causes causes of data from one location to another means it is a cause of transferring data from one location to another without changing the binary information content so that you have to be noted the data transfer is used only to transfer the instruction it doesn't change any uh, content that is present in the data okay so it causes of data from one location to another without changing without changing the binary information content binary information content so whatever the data that is present inside the uh, registers or whatever it may be uh, so the data transfer only transfers the information it doesn't change any binary information content now coming to data manipulation so what is this data manipulation so data manipulation means here the data manipulation instructions or those or those that perform arithmetic logic shift operations so manipulation it's saying something is going to be changed in the content of the data so how it is going to be changed with the help of some performing some arithmetic operations logical operations or shift operations so these you call it as data manipulation instruction now let us see what is this programmed control instructions program control instructions program control means we are controlling the program so this provides this instruction provide decision it is a decision making capability it is having decision making capability and change the and change the path taken by the program when executed in the computer when executed in the computer so that's about this program control instructions though whatever the instructions that are used for programming control those instructions provide decision making capabilities and also it has the capability of changing the path taken by the program when executed in computer now let us see different data type transfer instructions data manipulation instructions and programmed control instructions so first let me write the what are the instructions that represents the data transfer that performs the data transfer operations 
data transfer instructions so the name mnemonic so load is one instruction so the mnemonic for load is ld means while you are writing the assembly language program you just uh, represent ld in the program ld suppose ld ax comma bx okay just moving we are loading the data from bx to ax so ld represents load in the same way store this is one data transfer instruction the mnemonic used is st in the program move mov exchange xch input in output out push push mnemonic pop pop mnemonic so these are the different data transfer instructions names and their mnemonics so with the help of these mnemonics we are just mnemonic the instruction this the whatever the assembly language instruction consisting of mnemonic and op codes so mnemonics as the names whatever we have written here and the op codes are nothing but the registers or data registers or variables or direct data okay so this is about the data transfer instructions now let us see what is the data manipulation instructions what are the data data manipulation instructions so data manipulation instructions as said these are three types of data manipulation instructions one is arithmetic arithmetic instructions and next is logical and bit manipulation instruction and the next one is shift instructions shift instruction so these three you call it as a data manipulation instructions now let us see the first one what is this arithmetic instructions so arithmetic instructions or name and the mnemonic that is used for the arithmetic instructions increment inc decrement dec add add subtract sub so these are the arithmetic instructions multiply mul divide div so in the same way add with carry subtract with borrow negates negates twos complement neg so these are all the different arithmetic instructions now let us see what are the logical and bit manipulation instructions name mnemonic so the bit manipulation instructions are clear clr complement for complement we use com com is nothing but a complement and and it is a bit manipulation instruction or o or logical exclusive or means x o r clear carry clear carry c l r c so uh, enable interrupt disable interrupt so these are all the different logical and bit manipulation instruction now let us see the shift instructions so shift instructions name mnemonic so what is the name of the shift instruction that is used in the data manipulation and what is the mnemonic for that logical shift right and the mnemonic it is used is shr logical shift left shl arithmetic shift right sh 
or a so whenever you add a it is nothing but arithmetic shift right arithmetic shift left s h r l rotate right r o l r o r rotate left r o l rotate right with carry rotate left with carry so these are the different shift instructions so these are all the data manipulation instructions arithmetic instruction logical and bit manipulation instructions and shift instruction now see the third one the third type of instruction is program control instructions so it controls the programs how it controls the program with the help of these mnemonics branch it is controlling the program means it is jumping from one location to the another uh, mean the, the skipping it just the branch conditional or unconditional jump it is to jump from one statement to another statement or from one function to another function skip skp and call c a l l return r e t test t t s t so these are the different program control instructions so this is about the different types of instructions data transfer instruction data manipulation instruction and the programmed control instructions thank you